555.13. This rule was re relocated from 555, 553.11 and requires all metal parts to be connected to the ground bus of a panel board. Mm -hmm. Guys, take a look at your code book in 555.13. This is, this is in the general requirements section. Is that right? Yes. And uh, that being the case, I'm just going to read it out. So this is general requirements, and maybe you can help me identify when it applies. Because this was not voting buildings. Now this is simply just in general requirements. All metal parts in contact with the water, all metal piping, and all non-current carrying metal pipes parts that are likely to become energized shall be connected to the grounding bus in the panel board using solid copper conductors. What? <laughs> I was going to tell you, Mike. Oh, no, no. I'm, 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 oh, no. It has to be solid. Insulated, covered, or bare. This is kind of like a swimming pool kind of wire. Not small and eight gauge. Actually, it is kind of like a swimming pool because this is eight gauge. Connections to bonding parts should be made in accordance with 250.8, meaning you have to use the proper terminations when you do that. Let me read this again. All metal parts in contact with the water. So I have a boat lift. I have a boat, I have a boat dock. I got a boat lift. Or I have a boat dock. Can you think of any other metal parts? I mean, you have these metal floating docks. I mean, you have these metal docks that are just metal aluminum poles that's sitting in the water, right? And you go out there and just stick in the ground and set this, right? You have metal lifts. I've seen the... Ladders. 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 Yep. And, 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 and the, oh, God, in Georgia there, I uh, can't remember the name now, Lake Lanier, they have these metal, like, pontoon-looking docks. Big. I mean, we're talking big, two stories, all the whole big assembly is metal. And probably up in maybe other places in the country, Wisconsin, huge metal things. So anything that's metal that's making contact with the water, likely to become energized. Well, I don't think it's become energized. Okay, likely to become energized means it's connected to something that's connected to an electrical piece of electrical equipment. Okay, Mario. And doesn't that already have an equipment grounding conductor? Okay, doesn't matter. We're talking about is it likely if you have a piece of equipment and it's, and it's connected to the metal that's connected to metal that's connected to water, is it likely to become energized? I don't think so. The answer is yes. You don't know this, but this is the NFPA style manual. Dave, you want to make you want to make a comment about that? No. OK. The NFPA style manual says it isn't like something could fall off the sky and a building. It means it likely to become energized means there are energized conductors. Yeah. Inside the enclosure. So is a metal raceway likely to become energized? Yes. Yes, because it has wire. How about a yeah. box? Sure. Okay. How about putting a metal box with a metal with some kind of raceway or a PVC with a metal box with the equipment grounding conductor and then connect it onto some metal part that's making contact with the water? Are all those metal parts now likely to become energized? Absolutely. Bingo. That's all we're trying to say. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we have metal parts in contact with the water that's in contact with electrical equipment. Is that another way I could say that? Okay, I got it. Okay, now shall be connected to a, ooh, shall be connected to the grounding bus in the panel board. What? I got a dock out there. I got to run an eight, Brian, this is one of those things we're going to yeah. have to do a video clip. I got a dock out there and it's a floating dock and I'm running a circuit out there. It, it, the equipment grounding conductor and I have metal parts and it's going to, if you watch the video, we have a solution to this. And that's what? You don't run any electricity out there to a dock, period. But if you're going to run a metal dock or any metal parts, so the boat lift that's going to go in the water that's going to be connected to the equipment grounding conductor is going to have to be bonded with a solid gauge conductor, insulated or bare, all the way back over to the panel board for the circuit that supplied it. Tell me if I'm wrong. That's what it says. That can be kind of tricky because yeah. it's possible the circuit that goes out there is not coming out of the panel board, but it's coming out of a box somewhere that's supplying other things. So now you have to somehow have to figure out how to get into the inside panel for I that one circuit. I wish it wasn't solid because Sorry? I said I wish it wasn't solid because that's going to make it really difficult. If they didn't say that, you could just pull in an eight gauge conductor with your circuit. And then be now that they're saying that'd be, solid. That'd be your equipment grounding conductor and yeah. now your bonding conductor, but it's going to be very, solid, very difficult. This is a big deal. Am I right about that, guys? Yeah. It's going to be yep. a, now, I don't know if the intent was really big. Hey, what? Where was it relocated from? Well, it was relocated from 555.11, 
which was a floating building. 553. 550. I'm oh, sorry. 553. 553.11, which was a floating building, which would have had a panel board right, right there, would which would have been easy. easy to bond it all together sure. and bring it back to the panel board. But now when you took that general requirement, oh, we took the specific requirement, brought it into general requirements, there maybe are some unintended consequences that this is now going to create some huge problems.